This content is for informational purposes only and is not financial advice. Please read the disclaimer below. Hi everyone. I received a few questions around needs versus wants, so wanted to tackle that out before discussing asset classes and investing further. As part of this video, we will cover of 1. Our needs and wants 2. How to prioritize our needs 3. How to manage our wants So let's get started with what are our needs and wants. Needs are essential for survival and well-being. These are the basics like food, water, shelter, clothing, and medical care. Without them, our health and even life is at risk. They are universal, regardless of culture, background, or individual preferences, and shared as humans. Needs are non-negotiable. For example, we have to eat, even if it means sacrificing something else. While specific needs may vary depending on factors like location, the core set remains constant and are limited. Wants or desires beyond necessities. These are things that we wish to have, but can technically survive without it like vacations, latest gadgets, or civic brands. They are shaped by personal preferences, cultural influences, and social pressures, and vary greatly between person to person. They are flexible and change constantly with the passage of time. Importantly, there is no end to our desires and we keep making our wants constantly as we evolve. How do we differentiate between our needs and wants? There are three key ways. 1. Think about survival. If not having it puts someone in serious harm or impacts ability to live, it is likely a need. If you can live without it even uncomfortable, it is a want. 2. Consider the urgency. Needs are usually urgent, delaying has consequences, whereas for a want, we can delay it with some level of discomfort. 3. Alternatives. Needs usually have alternatives, however, wants are specific with no alternative. For example, you can have rice or bread for food as a need. However, for a want, you will only have Kentucky Fried Chicken. So here's a bit of information. It may look a bit overwhelming at start, however, it will help put some guardrails in your investing journey. As we have talked about it earlier, needs are essential for our survival and well-being. Now to expand this a bit further, they can be physiological for our safety and security, or to meet our love and belonging needs. The investments that focus to feed and maintain our needs are mostly low-risk, predictable returns, with the intent to have an emergency fund for rainy days, as well as some target milestones to meet major goals like marriage, kids' education, and so on. If we look at our wants, they are our desires and mostly tied to material possessions, experiences, and social status. Wants are fueled by our greed, and trust me, we have all been greedy, and the investment strategy aligned to our wants are high-risk, tolerant, diversified growth investments, which include real estate, stock, mutual funds, and crypto. Now, a key question comes up is how we prioritize our needs and manage our wants in line with investments. Well, the quick and easy way is to manage a percentage between the investments so as to keep your needs prioritized and keep them balanced with your wants. One thing I would suggest is to think around your needs and wants. This does not need to be hard. Skim across your credit card or your bank account spending for the last two months and do a quick sum to find out how much you have spent on your needs versus wants. This will be a good self-reflection so you can set your mindset to understand the levers and adjust your investment goals accordingly. We will be covering this in detail in our future videos. In the interest of time, that's a wrap for today. Have a nice day and feel free to like subscribe if this is helping you.